A Missouri state senator wants to allow deadly force against protesters. He's introducing a new bill that would release drivers from any liability if they run over protesters. Our Jasmine Payute explains. When you look at this legislation, it's an infringement on civil rights. Two bills, two conflicting approaches. One a crackdown on protesters, the other a push for police reform. They're two completely separate bills um, going two completely separate directions. Monday, Senator Brian Williams introduced Bill 6860 to address police brutality. The bill would ban chokeholds, make it harder for disciplined police officers to join other departments and create stricter guidelines for using deadly force. This isn't an us versus them situation. This is about um, building the trust in the community at the expense of police accountability and transparency. While Senator Williams is calling for accountability, Republican Senator Rick Bratton is calling for immunity. His new bill would allow the use of deadly force against protesters, releasing drivers who run over protesters from any liability. And it's kind of absolving the people that are filled with hate that don't want to see people fighting for their own liberation and giving them the, the right away and they had to go and say, oh, well, we could just kill them and it's OK. But the Missouri Fraternal Order of Police say differently. I just think this is just a, a, a way to protect everybody's free speech. Do you feel that this is kind of giving people the green light to cause harm to protesters? Um, I, I, I don't I don't think that's the spirit of this bill. I, I, I think it's basically just to set some parameters for people to peacefully protest and to protect everyone involved in the protest. Reporting in St. Louis, Jasmine Payute, Five on your side. Jasmine also reached out to the Ethical Society of Police. They believe Senator Bratton's bill is racially motivated. You can find their full statement in this story on KSDK.com.